Halloween ends wraps this week, as far as we know, and um, that is evidence in numerous posts to social media from the cast, and, and pretty much mostly from the crew at, at this point, um, that have basically let it be known that things are definitely winding down, and that also goes along with um, some recent casting uh, calls for mainly for background extras talent that I've seen um, some dated for today, Monday, um, one dated for tomorrow, and then something dated for as far out as this Wednesday, March 9th. And I've not seen anything with my own eyes um, dated further out than this Wednesday. So um, that's, that's as far as I know for sure that seeing something is scheduled to be shot, you know, um, how prominent it is, who knows. But um, we've seen a number of new photos posted to social media in the last few days. So this is our usual roundup of Halloween ends social media posts, um, much of which, like I said, has definitely indicated that filming production of the principal photography in Savannah, Georgia, is winding down as we speak. Uh, they're probably shooting a few final scenes tonight, maybe, maybe fittingly. On this Michael Myers Monday. So um, let's look at the latest uh, images from the set of Halloween Ends. Starting just a few days ago with Blumhouse producer Ryan Turek. And one of the things that you're going to notice in a lot of these posts that I really appreciate is that this has been a lot of the same people behind the scenes, behind the camera. Um, in front of the camera as well, of course, but a lot of the people, same people behind the camera working on all three of these David Gordon Green Blumhouse Halloween films. And I really do appreciate the fact that this has been a journey for them. And the fact that it's all coming to an end, coming to ends, uh... It's definitely, I think, bittersweet for a lot of them at this point. And um, as, as the shooting winds down, as the days are coming to a close, some of these uh, crew members have shared a little more freely on their social media, and we've uh, taken the opportunity to capture what we could of these last few moments of what is going to be the last Halloween film, at least for a little while. We, we know that much. So, again, right here, Ryan Turek. This was posted three days ago, and at that point, he was saying they were at day 32 of filming. And again, confirming right there, almost done. And that is um, some of Christopher Nelson's special effects makeup team right there. And, um, and of course, Christopher is right there with Ryan in the photo. You can see some of the other uh, team members. Well, Vincent Van Dyke got comments there in the comments. Um, and, um, of course, star of Halloween Ends, Andy Matichek, also comments in there. And then, um, down in the comments of that, uh, that group photo, um, I just want to mention this, because I know some people, you know, I, I've seen some comments, um, some people worried that, uh, the pandemic and COVID are going to, like, play too much of a role in, in, Halloween ends or, or like be like a major plot device. And, um, you know, while I've said, I think it's cool that it's happening in real time four years later and, and real life events like that can be acknowledged. And I don't, I don't expect that they'll be ignored. Um, I've never expected that they, it would be like a plot point, but I have seen some comments on, on social media and places, um, crazy stuff like it'll be COVID that, finally kills Michael Myers in Halloween Ends, and, and which, you know, would be just unbelievably ridiculous on so many levels. Um, but uh, I, I think we can, you know, anybody that's worried about that, I mean, I, I never really gave it much serious consideration myself, but um, Ryan Turek does um, kind of address that as well in the comments of that post when um, somebody says, a fan comments, please keep the pandemic stuff to barely a mention. Um, Turek responds, quote, COVID having something to do with the plot is a very odd rumor, end quote. So, again, I mean, not, you know, a 
I'm not completely saying that COVID won't be mentioned at all in the film, but I mean, I think that pretty much clears up any confusion that it's not going to be like any kind of major uh, plot device for Halloween ends. Screenshot where uh, Christopher Nelson reposted that uh, same photo in his IG stories. Almost done indeed, he says, and he thanks Fright Rags for making the FX makeup department t-shirts. And we'll go ahead and get a better look at one of those t-shirts right here. This is on uh, Jill Fogel. She posted this on her IG stories. Crew shirts are in, she says, and she's rocking one of those shirts apparently made by Fright Rags for Christopher's special effects makeup crew. And uh, you can see she tags Chris down there in the bottom and thanks him. I know a lot of people have commented online that they want those shirts. It's got 1978 on top, 2022 on bottom. And um, it's Halloween written in that font and, and with that pumpkin that goes back to the, the earliest images that we saw when they were um, just shooting Halloween 2018. And then it's almost like um, the... Um, the word ends has been painted over the last two letters in the word Halloween um, in blood, of course. And Jill Fogel, again, um, posting members of that team. There's Christopher again. Some fun shots. Again, the, these crew members have created all of these most memorable special effects in all three of these films. And like I said, I really appreciate the fact that this has been a journey for them that started in the winter of 2018. And here we are now, the, coming out of the winter of 2022. So this four-year journey now, it'll be four and a half years when the, when the film is released finally. But yeah, their, their time together is coming to an end here. And um, clearly, they're they're marking the occasion a little bit. And how cool of Chris to get Fright Rags, you know, the horror t-shirt makers, the best quality. I mean, their, their shirts are really nice, by the way. Um, they're really comfortable and soft. But how cool to get Fright Rags uh, to make these crew shirts. This isn't really from the set, but this is Jill Fogel again, you know, part of the uh, crew makeup department. Excited when I told her I'd be home in one week. And this, again, was posted a few days ago. So um, yet more indication and confirmation that uh, filming is wrapping this week. Here's another shot of the wrap gift. Looks like there's a jacket there with the uh, Myers and the knife, the James Jude Courtney Myers there on that jacket. And um, you'll be able to see exactly what the um, card says. Let me pull that up here. Let's go over here to uh, sound mixer Kevin Strom, another crew member on Halloween Ends. Check out his rap gift. He says, he posted this two days ago, he says, it's a Halloween miracle, LOL. I got my very own trilogy jacket. Such an honor to be part of Halloween Ends. And there you see Halloween crew, crew written in the blade of a butcher knife. And then the years 2018 to 2022. And then Kevin gave us a really good look at this, uh, this card that was sent to the crew. We caught a little glimpse of it in Jill's post a minute ago, but here it is, and here's what it says. Movies are little miracles. Hundreds of people come together to create fragments that then get linked and become movies. Every single crew and cast member of Halloween, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends have contributed their own special gifts talents, focus, and passions towards David Gordon Green's Halloween Trilogy. We are so grateful to each and every one of you for your contributions, and we hope when you wear this, 
you will do so with great pride and remembrance of the wonderful creative time we had together. And then it's signed, Jamie, David, Danny, Malik, Bill, and Jason. And again, we're getting a good look at this courtesy of Halloween Ends Sound Mixer, Kevin Strom, sharing this on his Instagram. There's another shot of uh, Joe Onsed with Ryan Turret. She says, when your producer pulls an all-nighter with the rest of the crew. Of course. I mean, if you were Ryan, wouldn't you want to be there soaking in every single second of this you could? I know I would. Trank is producer Ryan Freeman um, has left. This is, he posted this a few days ago in his IG stories. Final sunset in Savannah. As Halloween ends, heads towards a wrap. And again, this was posted last week. And then we get to today. Um, just today, of course, on Michael Myers Monday, Christopher Nelson shared those great t-shirt designs good look at them right there you can see there's more than one design and he again thanks fright rags for making the fx makeup department crew shirts and uh, he says they're a big hit and then he says again just earlier today on monday march 7th quote nearing the end with great thanks to my teammates and um of course he gives huge shout outs to his teammates vincent van dyke and it couldn't be done without you he also says also great thanks to eric porn and joel fogel for hanging in and stepping up he says one more thing i did want to mention um just because we haven't really talked about it here yet is um one of the locations that was posted on a uh, local news website in Savannah. This is courtesy of WJCL.com. And um, this is what appears to be a closed car wash, which apparently is located at the address of one of the filming sites, one of the filming locations of Halloween Inns. And um, according to a permit filed with the city for the filming, um, the scenes that were going to be filmed there would include um, police officers and apparently some kind of crime scene going on here at the deserted closed car wash. So you can make of that what you will. So like we said, production is definitely winding down these last few days. 